Hello everyone and welcome back to the series of Python Unleashed. My name is Ajay and today's topic is we are going to understand two more built-in methods that is the del method and the str method and both these methods starts with a double underscore and ends with a double underscore understand it okay and this particular method that is the del method it is used when it is not used it gets evoked when we try to delete an object suppose there is an object a that you created and you try to delete that object using a del statement like del a in that case this particular methods will method will get automatically evoked so whenever you try to delete a particular object this method will get evoked okay and similarly we have the str method even this is a built-in method and this particular method kind of gets evoked when we try to print the object okay so suppose there is an object a and if i uh, you know if i have a statement like print a so what exactly which all attributes it should be printing that we can define under this particular method okay both the del and the str methods are automatically evoked by the user and not by the user okay understand it so python is automatically going to evoke these methods so let us take this example let's go to python and start the coding now this was the uh, this was the program that we have developed in my last tutorial and uh, we have a constructor over here like that is the init method so just like this is called as a constructor the del method is also called as the del method is called as a destructor why because when we delete something so we kind of uh, that particular memory location uh, will be deleted so in that case this particular method will get evoked so the init the built-in method init is called as constructor and the delete that is the del method is called as the destructor okay so let us have this destructor that is def double underscore and del and then end it with a double underscore and then this is the one parameter that always we will have it okay and then i will simply say print and i will say object deleted and i will simply say self dot name now what is name out here name is the object variable isn't it so it will print the value of that particular object variable name now this was the coding that we did last time and then we are evoking the display uh, function the, the display method and then after doing all that let me just use the del a okay now this is a statement now i'm trying to delete this object now let us run this code and see the output now you can see this output over here at the end object deleted is a j why a j because a has the uh, a has the attribute that is the object variable name and it has the value a j right so it displayed that particular value that is a j okay now you can see we are not evoking this method anywhere over here since i'm using this method i'm using to using to, uh, you know since i'm trying to delete this particular object using the del statement this particular method automatically gets evoked we are not evoking this particular method okay similarly just like i deleted a i will also try to delete b and now you can see the output and here it is object deleted is a j and object deleted is vj why vj because the object b okay and the object variable name has the value vj so it deleted that okay so this is how to use the destructor and suppose if you have any statement like c is equal to a now understand like this statement like c and a are both pointing to the same memory location i'm assigning a to c so even c will point to the same memory block to the same uh, you know the uh, you can say the block where the object data is been stored so both of them are pointing to the same memory block so if i run this we will have the same output absolutely no difference okay okay we have the same output out here and then i can also say del c okay and once i say del c and you can see we have three that the object deleted is ajay object deleted is vijay and again object deleted ajay why because still this object was alive why it was alive because there was also one object name that is c that was pointing to that particular memory location okay so this is how 
this particular you know the del method gets evoked whenever you try to delete an object okay now let's move on to the str now str gets evoked when we try to print object now def double underscore str double underscore and self now the most important thing to remember in this particular method is that it should return a string this particular method should return a string otherwise it, the error python will throw an error understand it okay so this particular method should return a string value okay now i'll just remove the statements and i try to print a okay something like print a so the moment i try to print a now what exactly which all object variables it should print isn't it print a does not actually um, say anything because there are maybe n number of object variables so which all objects variable we are supposed to print that we can define under this str method and how to do that i will simply use return okay and it should return a string value so i will say name and i say colon plus self dot the name right name and then again i will say plus give a space roll number so over here i'm just printing two object variables that is name and roll number and uh, then plus again self dot roll number okay okay looks fine to me so this is the value that will get returned whenever i try to print an object now let's run this and you can see the output okay there is an error not in it why because this particular value that is roll number is a integer value so we will just convert that into a string right and now we will run this and you can see the output at the last that is name colon ajay roll number that is one so whenever you try to print an object this particular method will be automatically evoked and this str method should return a string so i'm just converting everything into a string since this was an integer value i converted that also into a string and then i just you know uh, joined all that strings and then i am passing that returning that value so okay so this is how you can do it and similarly if i try to print b now okay so i'm printing both a and b and you can see the output this is the for a and this is for b isn't it so this is how you can do it also if you try to use the str function so even in this case this particular method gets evoked understand so i'm using this str over here and if i try to print and we will have the same output okay so it works with the print function if you try to print an object and with the str method str function okay so this uh, the, the print function and the str function okay so whenever you try to perform any operation on a object using these two functions in that case this particular method the built-in method will get evoked okay so these are the two methods that we have learned today i'm keeping it short for today okay that's it for today. Bye for now.